is Diana Sullivan. I'm doing some beginning machine knitting lessons and I'm demonstrating a plain hem. To save time, I've begun with a few rows already knitted in a contrasting color of waist yarn. We commonly call this waist yarn in machine knitting because we're going to pull it off and throw it away. And then I have some slippery string that we call ravel cord and I'm going to knit one row with the ravel cord. The ravel cord acts as a divider. And I leave the ravel cord hanging down. Then I put the main yarn in the carriage and I'm going to knit twice the number of rows as the depth of the hem. So if the inside of the hem and the outside of the hem are six rows each, it's 12 rows folded over. So I'm going to go 12 rows. do is pick the open loops up from just above the throwaway yarn and I'm going to put them on the needle starting with the right you start either side keep in mind that you're going to end up with one loop too few for your hem because there's one less loop at the bottom than there is at the top and if you look at this contrasting thread in between the loop that I'm getting is a U shape. I don't want to pick up the upside down U's. I want to pick up the U shapes and just hang it on the needle that is the most directly above. I'm going to work on a cross. get to the end, I'm going to be short one stitch. The tool I'm using is called a transfer tool. I slip it inside the loop I want to put on the needle. I put the needle inside the loop of the transfer tool. It has an eye on it, like a needle. And I put that eye right over that hook. And then I just kind of lift up and it goes in. A little awkward here because I'm trying to stay out of the way of the camera. If I get to a place where it's hard to see what to pick up, I just kind of stretch it all downward and look at where the loops are. This is the last loop right here. And I'm just going to pick that up. And it's a good idea to put everything in E position before going and closing the hem by knitting one row. It's now joined. I'm going to knit a few rows. Pop it off the machine. And show you the hem. Of course, I'm going to have to catch it. This is the hem. We take the clothespin off. And I'm going to remove the waist yarn by just grabbing the end of the slippery ravel cord and taking that off, comes right off. Then this is the inside of the hem. This is the doubled part down here and if you flip it over, there's the stockinette side and that is a simple hem.